Hello guys, uh, this is Milo with another collectible review and today guys I got the Iron Man 2 War Machine and I got this in today, this came from Shanghai and it got here really fast and I got this from Assault Rabbit on eBay and uh, he has the best prices on eBay, he ships the same day usually or within 24 hours I bought this like last week and it's already here today so this is uh, pretty amazing I got uh, Royce from him as well and I wish I would have waited. Uh, he was selling Berserker extremely cheap. I think it was uh, about $220 total for EMS shipping. Uh, you can't beat that. That's almost the same price that you're going to pay uh, here in the United States. So that's pretty amazing. Anyways, guys, I can't wait to pull this guy out. Let's go and take a closer look at uh, War Machine. All right, guys, uh, here's the box. And, you know, one thing I want to point out with the uh, Hot Toys boxes as of late um, they're not as nice as it used to be. The sleeve on this one is really nice, has a really uh, nice shine to it. Um, but I've noticed with the recent collectibles, uh, their boxes are not as nice or attention to detail. Uh, to me, their boxes have always been collectibles, kind of like the figures themselves. With most of the Hot Toys that are being released now, the new wave, um, all you get is uh, the sleeve and then you get right to the collectible, you get the window. Um, you know, if you remember from the first uh, Iron Man movie, all the collectibles that were released, uh, those boxes were really nice. They had like a trifold effect where you can just open it up, a big old huge flap, and just had beautiful artwork, and then you would have the collectible. And, you know, when you're spending $200, then you feel like, you know, your money was well spent. But now, I mean, you're getting these pretty lame boxes. But to be honest, I really don't care because I store them anyways. But I did just want to point that out, that their boxes are just their sleeve, and then, boom, you get right to the collectible. And when you get to this box here, I mean, there really isn't anything to it. So, I mean, I wish they did still continue to pay attention to their boxes and make, make them unique and uh, related to the movie. And now it's just pretty, uh, I mean, there's nothing to it, really. Uh, but, uh, again, this is about the War Machine collectible itself, so let's go ahead and uh, take them out of the box. All right. Uh, as you know, guys, I like to take you through the entire process before I pull them out. Um, I like to show you how it's packed. Um, I will say that one thing where they have improved with the packaging is that there's no like tape and there's no twist ties. Um, I used to hate twist ties. They designed these so that the outer sleeve is just nice, um, snug and fit, and the collectible doesn't move whatsoever. And I think that's smart on their part. It saves them money. And uh, it's great for us collectors. I just want to pull them out nice and quick. And as you can see, this guy is just um, loaded. And again, there's no twist ties. And I have to tell you, just you know, my first impressions. Um, the armor looks fantastic. It's uh, it's weathered. That's the first thing I noticed. It's not just nice and clean. It's got like scrapes all over the place. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and uh, pull them out. <clears throat> All right, guys, uh, here it is out of the box. And uh, I have to tell you, guys, it's been a while since Hot Toys has left me speechless. And uh, this collectible is uh, one of the best that I've uh, ever seen from Hot Toys. Kind of reminds me when I first opened up the uh, Iron Man Mark I. Uh, the detail to both of those is uh, unbelievable. Um, I've already put on the SMGs and the Gatling gun. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward stuff. Um, one thing that this one stands out from the uh, first three, Mark 1, 2, and 3, is that uh, is the size, the girth. Uh, he's a lot bigger, the armor is a lot thicker uh, in size, and the detail is just unbelievable. And I didn't think that Hot Toys could top the uh, first three suits, um, but this one does a pretty good job. Uh, if it, You can argue that it's better looking uh, than the other three I mean the detail is just wow because this one has a lot more stuff going on than the you know the first three suits or not the mark one of course uh, you know the mark two and mark three are real sleek suits uh, this one there's just so much stuff going on it's just I mean it's unbelievable it's, it's just awesome and uh, wow guys um, they I mean they kind of did a, a fantastic job with the detail and uh, everything anyways let me show you the uh, the accessories that this guy comes with Alright guys, the first thing I want to look at is the hands, and you get pretty much the same hands that we're used to with the Iron Man collectibles. 
These are the relaxed open palm hands. Uh, you also get the uh, more aggressive open hand palms. And again, we saw these with the uh, first Iron Man uh, collectibles that were released. And beautiful paint job, beautiful detail, awesome hands. But what's new this time around with the Iron Man 2 movie is uh, these hands that have complete finger articulation. This is new, and uh, this is pretty awesome. I mean, Hot Toys always goes that extra mile above and beyond what other collectors do or other collectible companies do. And uh, let me show you the detail that Hot Toys uh, did with these hands. Uh, you can bend these fingers like so. And you know I'm about to do something to mature. Um, and, I mean, this is just, it gives you so many possibilities here. Look at that. That's awesome. And what's amazing is with the thumb, you can also turn it. Look at that. That is, I mean, that's crazy. I mean, uh, wow. All right, let's take a look at the other stuff. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at all the uh, weapons and uh, add-ons that this guy comes with, which really is the highlight of this collectible. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention as far as the hands, he also comes with a closed fist, which I'm going to leave him with those because it allows you to uh, recreate that scene at the end of the movie. Uh, he comes with the two SMGs at the bottom, uh, which, again, go on pretty easy. Uh, they just clip on with pegs. You can open them up like that. And the detail, let me see if I can take one off. The, the SMGs, which come off, is uh, I mean it has little lettering. I mean it's just it is beautiful. Oh, too close. I mean check that out. I mean just unbelievable. And of course Hot Toys always uh, pays attention to the smallest of details. Looks amazing. And cut, of course he comes with uh, another one underneath his right arm, which is badass. <clears throat> and then of course it comes with the uh, the Gatlin gun with the uh, bullet chain belt which to me uh, this is the highlight of the collectible and it has uh, great articulation you can slide it back, back and forth uh, back here you can slide it this way slide it this way you can turn it um, right here there's a joint where you can turn it all sorts of ways um, just looks unbelievable awesome and again it just goes on really easy Pretty straightforward. All right, guys, and if uh, if that wasn't enough, he still comes with more bells and whistles. Uh, he comes with uh, rocket launchers on both uh, shoulders, and to open them up, what you do is you slide this down, and then you use this tool, which we've seen before with the uh, Iron Man Mark III battle damage version. And then once you pop it up just enough, you can use your fingers to pull it up. And then this is that uh, infamous uh, rocket that uh, fails miserably at the end of the movie, which is funny. You can actually pull the missile out. I put it in there, and now I can't take it out. It's uh, really it went uh, way deep in there. Uh, I'm sure I can pull it out, but I'm just gonna leave it in there. <clears throat> you do the same thing on this side over here. Uh, just pull that down, and then you can use your fingers for the rest. And just pull this up like so, and then turn it. And then there you have uh, more missiles. I mean, just uh, it is just unbelievable how much stuff this guy has. It's unreal. And also, uh, I comes with two heads. He comes with the light up head, which I don't use the light up feature. I usually remove the batteries because I don't uh, want them to rust inside the compartments. <clears throat> this one has the uh, roadie face, which has a really good likeness to it. Here, let me give you a close up. And uh, here's a better look at all the weaponry from up close on the front. Uh, I think that's a really good likeness to uh, Rhodey. And uh, there's the missiles, the Gatling gun. And then here's that bunker, buster, whatever it was called. I forgot what it was called, from Hammer Industries. Again, you can pull that missile out, um, which is pretty cool. And just uh, unbelievable. And then lastly, guys, uh, down here you have the rocket launchers on his legs. You pull this up, and then you can pull this down. And this looks unreal. You can do that on both sides. Just amazing. And 
one badass piece. All right, guys, I also wanted to give you a size comparison. I have him next to the uh, Mark II. As you can see, he's a little bit taller. And let me give you a side view here so we can maybe uh, see what I'm talking about as far as the uh, just how much thicker he is. The suit is a lot bigger. And it's probably something you're not, not going to come through on camera, like always. Um, but the suit is a lot bigger and thicker at the waist, the arms, the legs, pretty much every part. It's just a complicated suit, of course, and uh, I mean, Hot Toys did it again. They created a collectible that uh, will make you wanting more, and I can't wait for the uh, Mark V. That's the one that I'm really, really looking forward to it. Uh, that's going to be unreal. All right, guys, let me give you uh, some uh, better close-up shots of the uh, War Machine. All right, guys, uh, bottom line, if you're an Iron Man fan and you have collected the uh, first wave from the first movie... Uh, this should be at the top of your list. Uh, this will complement and will not let you down and will look awesome in your collection. Um, just, it's unbelievable. It's nice and weathered. The detail. Um, Hot Toys has done it again. It is a very, very nice piece. Here's a side view. And also, guys, while I'm uh, showing you this, I also wanted to let you know that I have a Berserker and Royce, if you haven't figured that out yet. Um, I should get them this week, so I'll be expecting those reviews soon. Looking forward to those. And then uh, here's one final look at the uh, back. This looks just uh, fantastic. Beautiful. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I mean, that's about it. Um, I recommend this guy. Again, a salt rabbit on eBay sells them for really good prices, almost comparable to that of the United States, and you get it a lot faster. As you know, here in the United States, it takes about a month after it's released in Asia. That's when we see it here. So he offers really good competitive prices, the best that I've seen easily on eBay. Um, well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As I mentioned before, I have a lot of reviews coming, so stay tuned for that.